Well, I'm speaking from a research perspective, but I would think that if you're in any way creative, it allows you, you know, a, a platform from which you can be creative, think of new things, you're designing new molecules, new products that you're putting out to the world, and I think that's very productive, and it's something that's really exciting and that I love being a part of. I would advise them to YouTube some videos on cool chemistry, physics, biology videos and I think it might change their mind quite fast. My advice would be to look up online uh, any area of science that you're interested in and find someone in a university who's doing that kind of research and contact them to ask them can you talk to them about, uh, about their area in science and what it would be like going into a career like that. I think students should consider engineering, especially if, I suppose, if you have an interest in being creative and problem solving and working with people and working on I suppose, projects from large scale to small scale. I just think it's a, it's a great career choice to fulfil those passions or those interests. The stereotypes in science, uh, I believe, are people who are slightly boring or quirky. Um, and who don't conform to the norm. But I think stereotypes in science are changing hugely and I think that's really important. And what's most important for us to do as scientists is to convey that to everyone, to show that there's not one person or, or one stereotype of a scientist. Everyone, science affects everyone and anyone can be a scientist. A lot of people think to do science you really need to be good at maths. I don't agree. I wasn't that strong in it but I did work hard on formula based maths which is the maths that would be applied mostly in chemistry and physics. I think students can definitely be put off by the scientific stereotype of a, of a lab coat working in a lab 24 hours a day but that really isn't the reality. Within STEM like science, technology, engineering and maths there's a huge breadth of job opportunities, career opportunities. A person I think I think everyone, not just students, people in general are, are probably put off by stereotypes that they build up themselves in their heads. For example, if I built up the stereotype of an engineer when I was younger, but and if I didn't, if my interests or passions didn't align with that picture of an engineer that I had created, then that would naturally have put me off. Oh, there are definitely loads of resources for people who are interested in pursuing like science or technology, um, either leaving certain subjects, let's say, or third level courses. Um, so there's smartfutures.ie, careersportal.ie, there's Qualifax. Um, like for myself, um, in choosing my um, undergrad degree, um, I definitely used all of those and they are extremely useful. Mm -hmm.